Hey guys, this is Ben from TestRig. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test say, your Fusion 360. It is very simple, just follow my lead, okay? So let's begin. Okay, so before we start, it's very important that you turn off all the programs that you have running on the background. Uh, I'll suggest actually that you're going to restart the machine just in case. Second, make sure that your antivirus, if you have, just to uh, disable them because some of them are pretty nasty and they can also take some resources and affect the result. Next, you're going to do is, of course, when you're on a website, you're going to scroll down to the guides and supports, supports and click on download test files. From over here, you click on Fusion 360 and here you have all the information that you need. So it's very simple. If you're Windows, look at the Windows side. If you're Mac, look at the Mac side. Now, uh, first of course, first you, of course, you're gonna download the Fusion 360 test file. It's a zip file, so after you download, just unzip it. Next, you're gonna download the uh, Fraps. It's the uh, FPS monitor, and then the CPU GPU info, a little uh, portable application. It's called HW Info, and then of course the Autodesk screencast. And I'm gonna show in a moment why. We're going to use it in uh, two uh, tests, or at least one of them. It's up to you. So uh, again, if you're on a Mac, just uh, check out all this information over here. Um, this kind of app you need to uh, download for the uh, install for the uh, monitor. For the It's called Quartz Debug. It's going to take you to a new site where you're going to see how to uh, download it and install it. The same as for the uh, GPU and CPU info, the iState. It's also very important uh, because during the test, you need to make sure uh, you need to check how fast the CPU is actually running. Uh, and if you're not going to install this one, you're not going to have this uh, overview. And then, of course, also the Autodesk screencast for, um, for, your, for your Mac. And there are two of them. If you're going to see here, you have, uh, just say, please don't close this one. You have one for Windows, one for Mac, and so don't worry. Okay, so when you're done, uh, downloading and installing they are very straightforward nothing really special um, the HW info after you finish the install just close uh, the little window in the end and then go to uh, it's gonna ask you to um, open it and, or to install it but it's not really kind of installing because it's a uh, portable in your download a uh, folder so uh, all you gotta do is just go in there and you can see here just double click the file need to approve and then click uh, make sure you can see here summary only click run it's a few seconds and as you can see here uh, we don't need this one here we have our CPU information this is the exact information that you're gonna need so open a notepad and copy it paste it over there and again here this is your graphic card this is mine for example copy and paste it into a, um, a notepad and then you have the uh, memory. This is your RAM. You can see here I have 16 gigabyte. Okay, so that's the three information that we are uh, gonna need. And then you can just close it. Right, next. Uh, so you already installed the FPS monitor and your Autodesk screencasts, and you're gonna see them over here in your, see, in your desktop. You're gonna have some uh, shortcuts. So next we're gonna open the uh, Fusion 360. You're going to create a folder inside one of your projects, uh, create, call it a test. Then you're going to upload the file that you unzipped into a Fusion. Now, this is file is relatively big, uh, relatively large. So it takes a few seconds. When it's done, you're going to open it. OK, and then for it to open. Now, the first time you're going to open it, it's going to create a cache uh, locally in your machine. That's why we're not going to start testing yet. OK. Uh, take a longer than usual. So this is only the first time. The second time it's going to be a little bit, uh, relatively a bit faster. Again, depend how fast is your machine. And of course, if you're using a mechanical hard drive, <coughs> sorry, or an SSD. So that's also going something going to affect the the test result. Okay. Of course, if you have an uh, a, um, a mechanical hard drive, so it's going to open a little bit slower because again, the reading speed it's slower than SSD. And if you have an SSD it's going to be much faster you don't have to be worried about it so that's something that you also have to take in considerable in, um, in regards to the results next uh, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to start that's going to be i think the easiest way uh, just going to close this one 
uh, later close we're gonna open our screencast <clears throat> we're gonna go into settings uh, pop, 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 pop. over here more and you're gonna start uh, recording let's just say it depends what kind of location you have open it's gonna take whatever it is okay just want to make sure that everything is okay over there so what we're gonna do is you're gonna start recording the screen now okay click recording uh, in this case just click uh, ignore so we're starting recording now the uh, the screen okay now we um, just right click and we're gonna click open so we're gonna wait for it to open or the other way the, the, the other way you can do that is just with a timer just hit the timer start and open at the same time and measure how long time it take for the file to open okay so great so now we have our file open and what you're going to do is open and then click stop so here we go uh this looks really uh, weird so what we're going to do now is going to cl click on the edit and let's see here Yeah, so I just ignore the first frame and what we're going to do here is we're going to click on the uh, start mark we're going to remove the area the the, um, the frames that we don't need okay so I'm gonna see I already clicked right here I'm clicking on the uh, open over here then we're gonna click delete okay I'm just gonna scroll scroll until we find this one let's see over here yes so again start and all the way to the end and mark with the red one at the end and then hit delete and as you can see now now we have the time how long time it took to open and it's 30 seconds and yeah 30 seconds okay you can just round it up so uh, this is it so we don't have to uh, do anything else we can just close this one for now yes you can just minimize uh, this one the next test is going to be the um, and don't forget to write it down somewhere next it's going to be the uh, fraps we're going to test now the frame per seconds so this is the screen that you're going to see when you open it click on the frame per second check all this stuff here you don't need to check anything else we're going to minimize it open uh, again Fusion, click on the orbit. Now you're gonna see the uh, fraps window over here. I'm just gonna click over here. You can see the monitor here, uh, the yellow one. And then I'm gonna go and click on the orbit tool right here in the middle. And we're gonna start orbiting. Now make sure another thing you have to really, really be careful is going to the effects. You cannot see it. So let's see if I can do something here right effects and then make sure only the anti-aliasing is unchecked okay it's very important so let's do it again right here in the middle click and turn it around and around and around and then you can see what's the average in my case it's about 45 46 something like that okay so i can just write down 45 so this is for the frame per second write it down next we're gonna do is gonna hit escape and we're gonna move on to the render environment give it a few seconds all right are we there not yet okay we're here I'm going to go in here to uh, name views as you can see here and I created a view called render I'm going to use this one now with we what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use the uh, screen recorder and begin another recording and I want to record only the out of the screen oh sorry and I want to record the fusion okay and we can start recording basically uh, now but we can also turn off the uh, frame per second the fraps we don't need it anymore good 
just need to reselect it again here we go and we're just gonna click ignore good so we now we're starting recording and you will see also in a moment why uh, so we need to start to do the render now so we're gonna click on render and over here it's very important 19 20 by 1080 make sure that you have this resolution otherwise the results gonna be different local render advanced settings and click on excellent now and uh, so make sure you have the same settings here and then you click render and you're just gonna wait okay and now if you're not gonna see if you cannot find the render window right here on the rendering gallery uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna change environment but not now <coughs> sorry it's preparing for the rendering and everything so it takes a few seconds but as soon as it's gonna start I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do yes so you can see we cannot see it over here so we can change uh, environment and then change back to render and now we can see it over here and that's it now you can go up to a cup of coffee or something and take a break uh, check from time to time when it's uh, done you can just click on it to open and then you will be able to see if it's uh, finished or not so over here it takes about three minutes so um, yeah it's just going to uh, take a cup of coffee now I'm just gonna stop it and I'm gonna skip to the end okay and by the way right now uh, don't forget to check the CPU speed so you're gonna right click on your uh, taskbar and hit task manager as you can see here click under performance and check the speed that shows up here okay and you can uh, for, the, for the Mac users you have the i states over there you can see also uh, the information how fast the CPU is running you can also see in the processes that Fusion takes 80% 81% so yes all right guys so the render finished uh, we can close this window and we can uh, close now the recording uh, you can close it by hitting on the control f10 and control f9 it's to uh, start to pause the uh, recording but control f10 so we stop the recording okay so like before what we're gonna do is edit and we're gonna click on this green arrow to start the point which we don't need okay so we're gonna go back this is the point where I clicked on the render I'm gonna mark the end and I'm gonna delete and then again I'm gonna scroll all the way to the point where I don't need it's finished a few seconds boom that's it hit the green and till the end so we can delete this part and now you can see I have the result it took four minutes and seven seconds as you can see it's very easy to measure like this the how long time the render took unfortunately Fusion right now doesn't have a real uh, timestamp for the render, so we have to do it this way. But it's very easy, as you can see, it doesn't take really that long. So, as you can see here, all the tests by now, as I'm checking now my own clock, it took like 16 minutes. That's nothing, okay? Uh, for some of you, maybe it's going to take longer, but it doesn't matter, it's still nothing. So, now we have all the information in order to uh, continue and registering it in the uh, table. And I'm going to show you now what to do. Now this one we don't need anymore we can just close it so now you have note all the test result that we have we can go back and we can go into a go back home and yeah and of course over here we can just click on the plus here and then you type in what type of the machine it's a desktop or a laptop then the cpu type you know it's already intel and then we can look for the uh, CPU choose from here and then we can write here you know for mine it was 4.88 you 
gigahertz and as I noted here it represents uh, CPU speed during the test okay it's very important and uh, the GPU again choose mine it was AMD and then uh, the graphic card is going to show up here RAM it was 16 and of course the operating system so if you're testing Fusion you just put the Fusion information here all the test result and click save and you're going to find information under my table okay and that's it so if you have any questions if you have any issues so we can just go into the uh, forum under uh, support and uh, yeah support and troubleshooting just send us a message and uh, we'll we'll try to help you so take care bye bye